This is our Glideways Demonstration Facility, or GDF, at Gomentum Station in Concord, California. The site is an ex-naval weapons station, repurposed by the Contra Costa Transportation Authority for R&D of new mobility technology, and it's owned and operated by AAA. With Gomentum being the center of cutting-edge transportation research, we are viewing phase one of Glideways tech development at the GDF. We'll take you through a series of scenes to illustrate the key elements of the Glideways system and show you how they work together to create our vision for the future of mass transit. But first, let's share some highlights about our GDF. We are completely off the grid with power sourced from solar arrays to charge our vehicles and power our facility. This is our current layout for our operations and response center where we currently store and maintain the vehicle, have office workspaces, and house our communications equipment. Let's strip away the noise and focus on key components of the Glideway system. Here, you can see the glide car parked at the access point. This is where you hail your personal glide car and depart to your destination. On the ground, you can see the capacity of this access point configuration. In this case, we have two boarding spots. Each spot moves 90 people per hour, so this configuration moves 180 people per hour. In the shipping container, we have our operations and response center. Next. We'll scale up the configuration to add capacity. You can see that we've copied and pasted the access spot, expanding the configuration from two to five spots. With this, capacity increases to 450 people per hour. This begins to show how we can scale up access points depending on what the site needs while maintaining a small infrastructure footprint. Notice how the platform separates you from the vehicle path with great separation and a protective barrier. Next, we'll bring in other major elements of the Glideway system infrastructure, the vehicle lanes and access point canopy. A typical vehicle Glideway cross-section includes four lanes, two utility lanes sandwiched by one trunk lane on each side. Here you can see that we've added the utility lanes to connect vehicles to the access point. One utility lane is used for each direction. This is where vehicles move slowly at five miles per hour into and out of spots. Beyond the traffic barrier, you can see one of the trunk lanes. This is where vehicles continuously flow towards their next destination. The second trunk lane bypasses the access point overhead. It's shown a little wider than what it needs to be because we've attached a canopy to protect the vehicle from the elements as passengers board and exit the system. To your left, you can see the operations and response center. This can be a simple warehouse building or an open air lot with a canopy. Since the vehicles are small, the infrastructure components are flexible. We can configure our infrastructure to work with a variety of site conditions. Let's zoom out to give you another perspective on how the Glideway system works. With this aerial view of the infrastructure, we can see how the trunk lanes provide continuous flow around the access point. Notice one trunk lane passing over the access point and the other trunk lane separated from the utility lanes by the traffic barrier. We've highlighted the trunk lanes in blue. Next, you'll see utility lanes in red. You can see a vehicle that has just entered a utility lane from the access point. This is where the vehicle departs from the access point and syncs up with the faster moving vehicles in the buffering area. From here, the vehicle merges into the trunk lane proceeding directly to the next destination. Now that you understand how the different lanes are used, we'll show you how the Glideway system can fit into different urban environments. This is a medium density urban environment. You can see a mix of commercial and residential development. Behind you, there's an open space fronting a university. An important aspect of the Glideway system is placemaking. Before we build anything, we wanna understand how the infrastructure can look, feel, and fit into our community. Creating scenes like this is an important part of our process for understanding the impacts of our system, as well as communicating our vision with others. To further illustrate, we'll add movement to the scene and let you observe how the space activates. Again, we have the access point and utility lanes directly in front of us. You can see the slower traffic moving in the utility lanes, and you can see the continuous flow of the trunk lane. At access point five, you'll see a glide car arriving to drop off a passenger and then pick one up. You can see how people can go directly from the sidewalk onto the system. Let's scale the system up again. In this case, all the trunk lanes are elevated. 
we bring the utility lanes down, providing access at street level where people are. There are no large platforms, no elevators, escalators, nor flights of stairs. Accessing the Glideway system is quick and convenient. With 12 spots, we can move 1,080 people per hour in this configuration. While we're showing the elevated trunk lane bypass overhead, the infrastructure can just as easily go underground if that's what the location requires. The Glideway's infrastructure is flexible, capable of fitting into a variety of site conditions. Let's take a look at how the Glideway system takes shape in several real-world conditions. We're at Deardon Station in San Jose. The high-speed rail station is directly behind you, and the gray building masses are future buildings as approved in Google's Downtown West Master Plan. You can see there are 24 spots. This configuration simply mirrors our 12-spot configuration. Through this, we can move 3,000 people per hour. The Glideway system is flexible at the lowest total cost. This access point, for example, is essentially a parking lot with some fences and small overhanging elements. System flexibility can expand beyond just scaling access points. With our system, it is feasible to add more access points to the alignment over time, increasing access as the development grows. This is the Antioch BART station, a station in East Contra Costa County located along Highway 4 that connects the eastern region of the county to the larger Bay Area BART network. Here we can see how the Glideway system can extend access to and branch from existing public transportation systems. From this station, passengers can continue their trip with an on-demand connection from BART to the Glideway's alignment. With a 12-spot configuration, you can see how small the infrastructure is compared to the BART station at the center of the highway. Despite the difference in scale, this access point can move as many, if not more, people per hour while being able to depart on demand on your schedule. With that, we've reached the end of the virtual experience illustrating how the Glideways elements come together to create a public transit solution that increases access and delightful places while continuously moving people direct to their destinations.